everyone, how are you guys all doing today? My name is Mirko and welcome back to another Black Ops 4 video. So in today's video, I want to talk to you guys about weapon DLC as there have been two leaks within the game of two weapons that could potentially be coming to Black Ops 4 within the next few weeks, which is really exciting indeed. Now before we get into the discussion of what weapons are coming to Black Ops 4, if you guys are new around here and you're not subscribed to my channel already, be sure to do that down below so you don't miss out on any future Black Ops 4 discussions, tips, all that stuff you name it and I also want you guys to do one thing I want you guys to comment down below on what gun you would love to see return to Black Ops 4 I would personally love to see the MP7 return to Black Ops 4 I absolutely love that gun in Black Ops 2 so let's go over what has been leaked in the Black Ops 4 files so we've got the man award that has been showing up on people's creator class and uh, I'm gonna leave in the description if you want to go look into detail on these leaks I'll leave that down below in the description so you can check that out but the man award and the AK-40 have both been leaked and we could see these two weapons come within the next few weeks or maybe months in Black Ops 4. Now I absolutely love the Man of War in Black Ops 3 and I'm definitely going to be using this if it comes out on Black Ops 4 and bearing in mind these are all leaks, nothing's obviously confirmed until Tryout confirm it themselves but these two guns look very likely to be returning and in my opinion I think the Man of War is something we need. The Ramper is the only assault rifle in this game that has a slow fire rate and I think we need another slow fire rate gun and I think the Man of War just fits in perfect and this is what we need. Now when I saw the AK-47 leak and supposedly returning to Black Ops 4, I did think the KN, which is already in Black Ops 4, is almost like a reskin of the AK-47. I mean, it looks almost identical. It's like a futuristic version. So I was a bit confused as to why they're bringing the AK-47 if they've almost got their own version in the game already. Now, obviously, the AK-47 is such a different gun to the KN in Black Ops 4. I mean, the recoil pattern is completely different as well. And I'm really looking forward to using the uh, AK-47 in Black Ops 4. I mean, every Call of Duty that's had an AK-47 in it, it's always been a, one of the most dominant guns and uh, without a doubt it's probably going to be very dominant in Black Ops 4 as well. Now there's been no suggestions as to how we're going to be able to access these weapons, whether they're going to put them in the tier system or whether we can just purchase them separately or even if they're just going to give us the guns for free, which I think is very unlikely. However they do this, I hope they do it affordably and understand that people don't want to spend a lot of money just for a weapon. Uh, and the supply drop system, I'm glad it's gone because it just rips so many people off, including myself. And uh, I just hope you can actually purchase a weapon itself. But as always, these are just leaks and nothing's confirmed. It could be that this whole video is pointless and it could be that these two guns are never going to come out in Black Ops 4. But it looks very likely and as I said, there's definitely a reason why these have popped up in the game and I definitely think we're going to be seeing a lot more Black Ops 4 weapons, DLC weapons, come within the next few months of the Black Ops 4 cycle and I think this is just the beginning of DLC weapons. So I'm going to keep this video short and sweet. I thought I'd keep you guys updated and have a general discussion about these two weapons that are supposedly coming to Black Ops 4. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this video up here. If you guys did enjoy this video, don't forget to drop a like down below and I'll catch all of you guys out in another Black Ops 4 video.